there is one exercise that I really like that is powerful. And it's through this guy on Mind Valley called Jeffrey. Mind Allen. Valley. Sorry to interrupt. That's my favorite place. Okay, keep going. Yeah. So Jeffrey Allen does a course <gasps> called Jeffrey Reality. Allen. Oh, okay. Keep, keep, keep going. I'm so excited. <laughs> and um that's the only reason I signed up for it because there was something about this guy that spoke to me. And he's got the most basic, simple exercises. I'm like, I imagine the core of the earth as a beautiful, luminous, you know, crystal. And you wrap it around and then you go back up. That light travels back up to your root chakra and it goes through your body. And you just imagine that light to your root chakra and it goes expanding in your energy field. And as you do that, you feel very much present within your body but also in the present moment because we don't we often look to the future or we remain in the past but it's in the now in the very now that is where you create better tomorrows i have so much to say about this jeffrey allen changed my life completely it was about a year ago that I was watching YouTube and an ad came up with yes. Jeffrey Allen's face. And he was doing these weird things with his hands. And I thought, I want to do that. That looks cool. I've never seen anyone else do that. And he was talking about how you, speaking to me, are probably doing everything right in the physical plane. And I thought, oh, goody, I'm doing it right. I'm so happy. <laughs> But what about your energy plane? Yes, I thought, yes. No, bro, I'm not working on my energy plane. You got me, Jeffrey Allen. And so I took a few repetitions of seeing that ad pop up over and over again. And the algorithm really knows what it's doing. <laughs> and I know. I said, okay, maybe I do want to learn all about this. Yeah. So I first I did the duality course. And yeah. then I did the second course, which is called Unlocking Transcendence. Yes, I've I would that one also. Yes, but I would encourage everyone to do it the other way around. And the reason yeah. is the FAQs, the question and answer segments in the Unlocking Transcendence program, yeah. I feel like answered so many questions I had that could have been really helpful if I then did duality subsequently. Okay. And this might be an unpopular opinion. And maybe Jeffrey Allen would say himself, do it the other way. I don't know. But I felt like, first of all, if you're doing the Unlocking Transcendence course, don't skip the FAQs, the question answer segments, because yeah. I thought, oh, he's answering all of, life, all of life's questions, all of life's most important questions. Why isn't this required course content for every human? I don't know. So the two courses are on mindvalley.com. I highly encourage the listeners to check it out. The last time I checked, I think it's only $30 a month. They really lowered their prices. Yeah, um, I did it for a year. Yes. yes. When Better I signed price. up last year, it was more expensive. So it's a good time to sign up now. Check out Jeffrey Allen's courses because I've taken a dozen of them and Jeffrey Allen's are still my favorite. Maybe that's because I did them first, but they will always hold a special place in my heart. And speaking of the heart, I was so interested to hear you say you've been practicing being right behind your eyes because yeah. so many meditation teachers speak about being in your heart space, but Jeffrey Allen really goes into where are you in your head space? Yeah. And it's so valuable. So as you were saying, he suggests when you're communicating with someone, when you really want to feel present, feel like you are right behind your eyes. And that really helps you focus, helps you be yes. pre present. But if you want to collect your thoughts, you can go into the center of your head. And this yes. is where I have been practicing probably the last nine months or so. I've been really enjoying being in the center of my head. And people may be wondering, what are they talking about? Like, where are you in your body? I don't get it. And why is this important? And why should you invest yeah. time in this? 
well, being a human can be tough. And it's nice to have something to focus on of where am I in my body? And that does help me get through the day. So yeah. the third place he talks about is being up at the back of your head. And I think this yes. is what you were alluding to yes. when you want to look down on your thoughts yeah. to get some perspective. And then we remember, I am not my thoughts because I'm looking down on my thoughts. So these thoughts have a lot more, much less weighty import if I can detach from them and get some distance from them. So I feel like how this links to the meridians is if you want to connect with heart meridian, definitely get down into your rib cage, get down into your heart, listen to your pulse, be down there. But if you want one of the more thinkier, <laughs> more brilliant meridians on your side, where you really want to be using your brain, then like mm -hmm. st stomach meridian, I feel like is a very intelligent meridian, then be up in your head, be in the center of your head, be behind your eyes, or be looking down on your thoughts. Now, what stomach has to do with thinking I think of stomach as another brain and there is that enteric nervous system. Technically, you're right. Us. Yeah, yeah, it's right? a good point. Yes. So heart meridian, get down into your rib cage. Stomach meridian, get into your head. That doesn't make <laughs> sense, Sarah. Well, just try it. See what happens and let me know. <laughs> And everyone, please do go to mindvalley.com. Check out Jeffrey Allen's courses before or after buying Brigitte's book. 